What's going on, world? It's your man, Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. And uh, we got us a major, major project today. Remember, I told you guys about that 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 uh, Ford. It's another Ford problem. It's always a Ford problem, and it has got the intake and the exhaust leak. I think I got an idea on how to fix it, and I'm gonna show y'all what that idea is. Oh yeah, it's gonna be gangster. Hopefully it works. I got full faith in JB Wells' ability. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna get back into it right after the intro. Alright, y'all. So I gotta give you the skinny on what's going on. So I was just in Wallet World and what what the problem is, I got this customer with a 2005 Ford Expedition. 4.6 I think it's a two valve well he didn't blow the plug out of the cylinder but he actually blew the entire insert of where the plug goes in out of that cylinder um, but not enough to actually come all the way out but enough to where the spark plug is threaded to the insert and the insert is barely hanging on to the the cylinder head but not enough to let me get it out. But I can spin the spark plug around, I just can't get it out. So I, I fought with it for like two days and I finally got it out. Uh, put a new plug in it and not thinking clearly, I told the customer what was going on and uh, I told her what my suggestions is, which was like, yo, just junk this damn thing. It's got like 300,000 miles on it. Uh, it's not worth, it wasn't worth it. Was, he's on the second motor and uh, had a similar problem to the first motor. So out of the blue, I'm like, listen, man, um, let me be honest with you, you know what you could do? And this is like a shot in the dark. I mean, it's, it's, it's a 50-50 because it could work or it couldn't work, but we could just glue or cement the damn insert and the plug all inside of this thing. I mean, it's got 300, almost 300,000 miles on it. I'm like, you ain't got nothing to lose. And for me, it'll make a hell of a video because I don't know if it'll work. But that's the point of buying that JB Well. So that this is the game plan. So just imagine if you will, and I'll try to make some type of illustration for this. Um, when I go back to edit it, I'll get some pictures. I, I'll try, if I did my job right, and I took as much time on this video that I hope gets uh, liked, so like it if you do like it so far. Always love that. YouTube algorithm loves it as well. Um, I am going to have a picture showing a spark plug and an insert. And the game plan is to JB weld the entire thing inside of the cylinder. While it may sound like it's not hard, I need this thing to not blow back out. Because right now, cylinder number seven on this 4.6 is having an intake, uh, not an intake, it's, it's yeah, an intake leak and an exhaust leak all at the same time because it's sucking and blowing out of that cylinder. If I hold the spark plug in there on top of the coil pack just right, I can hold it and it'll build compression properly. But once I move my hand or move it a certain way, it'll blow it out. You hear it's blowing and sucking all out of the cylinder because the piston is going up and down. It's losing compression. So I'm not going to fight another few days to get that spark plug back out and then try to, you know, glue the, the insert in. I'm going to mix this JB Weld. I got a turkey baser. I'm going to glue this whole bad boy in there, put the coil, back, coil pack on top of that and let it sit and we're going to come back. So I'm going to show you guys how that looks whenever it gets done. Stay tuned. All right. Now we're in the vehicle. got to keep in the customer let me show you guys what this thing is doing so then you can understand exactly what the problem is here okay So, it's very hard to hold the camera at the same time. This is the day in the life of a roadside 
roadside take. All right, so on Fords, I think I said cylinder number seven, but actually it's cylinder number three. These Fords go one through four on bank one, and then five through eight on bank two. So it is one, one, two, three, and you can see that that coil pack is not even plugged down there. It's gonna be a little hard to actually record this, but I'm gonna crank it so you guys at least can see what I mean about what it's doing. Okay, Jesus Christ. All right. I was bus blowing out of that, that cylinder. don't want it to get too hot so uh now that that's been done go back to our walmart bag hire somebody to just record this stuff this is where the JB well turkey baser comes in so what the game plan is is I'm gonna take the coil pack out right I am gonna literally glue or JB I'm gonna mix this together and oh, I forgot my glass oh you're not supposed to do this on cardboard usually use glass uh, to help with the, the mixing oh. I'll find something for it. I got something back here. I got cardboard. I don't want to use that. But either way, I'm going to mix the JB well together. Use this beautiful turkey baser. Excuse me. Uh, suck that up. Spray it inside of that cylinder. Put the core pack back in. Let it dry. And we're going to, we're literally going to JB well the actual spark plug to the cylinder. So, you guys stay tuned y'all heard uh, hopefully you heard it in the video where it was popping and all that stuff that's that that exhaust slash uh vacuum leak that we talked about so uh yeah let's whenever you mix them with this jb weld and stuff man you want to make sure you just just move it move it around goop it around you want it to not that you're gonna really shake it, but you want it to be able to properly mix. Um, I don't have a good place to mix this. Before I do it, let me go ahead and open this turkey baser up. Nice little clean brush. Two dollar, two dollar. I need to actually buy one to keep in my car because I could always use one of these bad boys.
gonna mix it inside of this bottle. I was looking for something to mix it. Uh, you're typically supposed to do this flat. I'm not doing that. And I'm also not gonna ruin a perfectly good screwdriver. So we've got us a couple pieces of wood. We're gonna mix this together. Now, make sure I'm completely prepared to do this because once this stuff starts to dry, uh, there ain't no going back. So I'm gonna move, this is a piece of wood that was used to block that up. Yep, coil packs right there. Now you guys aren't gonna be able to see the ending of this until next episode. Hopefully this works out in the way that I'm thinking that it will. Put this in a way where it ain't gonna mess nothing up. Cause I don't even know if this turkey baser is gonna even work the way that I want. Cause it ain't super liquidy. But you wanted to turn gray. That turkey baser is not gonna work for this. I'm, I'm highly doubting it now that I'm looking at it here i was thinking oh i can make it you know thick enough to do something i don't think that's gonna work honestly i'd rather not even waste the turkey base all right so i'm gonna apply this in here y'all i'm gonna get back to you before it gets too hard all right y'all so we're back we got the cover off um I didn't use that basin, the turkey baster, I mean, and it was not going to work. And as you can see, it is in there. Now, it was extremely hard to do this. So I'm going to tell you guys, use a caution when doing it because it could work. It could not. I don't know if this is going to even work for this gentleman. Uh, he said, let's go ahead and try it. It's all experimental. He knows it has high miles on it, blase, blase. So that's fine and dandy. But make sure that you have a uh, full understanding that this is 50-50. In the event that this doesn't work, my next course of action is going to be literally uh, buy another tub of the JB Weld and take just the coil boot or coil pack off and leave the coil boot and um, just give it everything it's got. Like I'm literally going to basically shut down that cylinder, cylinder number four or three. So um, hopefully this works. We'll find out in the next part of this video. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, share. That's it, yeah. Like it, subscribe, share. Uh, I'm gonna hit on the road so I can get to my next customer. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. Until next time, be pro mundo beneficio. Peace.